My Shire Farm. Today we are going to do a video about um, how to determine a hatch rate. There's a lot of information out there and uh, I'm not saying one way is right and one way is wrong, um, but we're going to share with you how My Shire Farm does it today. Uh, before I jump into it, uh, make sure that you go to our YouTube channel, My Shire Farm, like and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. Uh, but jumping into it, um, if you read online, um, there's a lot of things on there. A lot of it is contradicting each other um, where, you know, if you buy, and, and I'm going to use 100 eggs because well, I can do that math in my head. <laughs> so if you buy 100 eggs uh, and you get them and then you candle them on day 9 um, and, you know, 40 of them are not fertile, so you take those out, so you got 60 left, and so that's what you would determine your hatch rate on, I disagree with that wholeheartedly because you spent your hard-earned money on 100 eggs. So you should count all 100 eggs. It is not your fault if they arrive broken or damaged or frozen or overheated or if they're not fertile, let, me, let the breeder be responsible for that, okay? Um, so what you should do is keep it simple. So if you've watched any of our videos before or if you know me at all, our philosophy is to keep it simple. So if you buy 100 eggs, that's your number that you go off of. So if you have 50 hatch, you got a 50% hatch rate. If you got 60 hatch, you got a 60% hatch rate, and so on and so forth. Now, it does ask you to, you know, um, there's a lot of information online where it says once the hatch is over, you need to candle and break open and see where they died, blah, blah. All right, so here's my, here's my philosophy and here's my thoughts on that. If you contact me and you buy 100 eggs and you say that 30 of them hatched, a 30% hatch rate to me is not acceptable, okay? So I am going to ask you some questions and I probably will ask you to candle or break some open to find out what happened. Because until we find the cause of what happened, we can't fix it. And so I don't want to reship you 100 eggs and the same result happened and now you're four or five weeks behind schedule. Um, so it could be a humidity issue, it could be a temperature issue, it could be, uh, you know, a lockdown issue, it could be the thermometer is not reaching right, it could be the post office, you know, mishandled them, it could be that they froze during the winter, it could be that they overheated during the summer, it could be a million different things. So we need to get to the bottom of it so that we can resolve that issue and move forward. Um, so, but long story short, keep it simple. Whatever you spend your money on is the number that you should count on, okay? So if you buy 100 eggs, then you should get a minimum of a 50% hatch rate off of that. If you don't, then we can look into it and find out what happened, um, which will be one of our next videos is the top five reasons for a poor hatch rate. Um, so I hope that one will help also. I hope you guys enjoy these YouTube videos. Um, we're really trying to get into it and really trying to help you guys. Um, so keep up with the, the uh, ideas sending my way, and uh, make sure you like and subscribe. We appreciate you. Thank you, and we'll see you next time at My Shire Farm.